funny that this came just this week because I actually, before we recorded episode one, my hair was way too long. It gets, I don't hate getting my hair cut. <laughs> so I finally, I was like, I've got to go. I got to get my hair cut because yeah. we're going to be on video. I had some other inv- interviews <laughs> coming up for the, the studio podcast. Mm-hmm. And so, again, I hate getting my hair cut. I used to go to Hall of Fame downtown. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then, like, I don't know. It's, always, it's just like a whole thing getting in there and, yeah. and stuff like that. Well, so sucks. I go to Supercuts because you know, I literally get my hair cut, cut twice a year. I just, like, I always wear a hat. So it's like I don't really care. Yeah. Okay. So normally this time of year I do it because then I have to go to the Sammys and present right. the Syracuse Area Music Awards. And then the other time always falls like mid-October because then it's marching band championships at the Dome and the same thing. I have to have my hat off. And yeah. So those are my two haircuts. So Twice a year. That's hilarious. I always go to Supercuts. Right. So they used to be the one over here in Eastwood by the Palace. Okay. They closed that. Yeah, yeah. So then I started going to the one over by Golf Galaxy there. <laughs> over on right? uh, Erie Boulevard. They closed that. <laughs> So now the next nearest one is the one way out in Fayetteville Jeez. by the the big Wegmans. So I go oh out God. there, and it's like a pain driving all the way out there. And But I go in there, and what do I see? They have a, a silent auction for the American Cancer Foundation, the American Cancer Society, whatever it. it is. You're a good person. We get it. <laughs> and I, I see, a, you know, it's like all right, I'm, I had to wait 20 minutes or whatever anyways because they're always behind. Mm. And they had... Uh, some of the different framed, you know, Sports Illustrated covers and such like that. Mm-hmm. So there was no plan on on getting what I got, <laughs> but I saw it there and was glancing at the the sheets. You know, they had like a I don't know. It was like a Kobe Bryant one. They had like a Muhammad Ali one. Mm-hmm. You know, th- these various ones, and of course they had Tiger from when he won the Masters in in 2019. And so I was let me just. Oh, let me take a peek. Like there was I, no names on the sheet. I forgot what you texted me. It was hilarious. I think you were like, you know what? We could use this. <laughs> I think you just sent me a picture of it. That was after I had uh, made the offer. Oh, you already okay? All right, that checks out. But I was there. I mean, whatever this this would have been the Saturday or so before the first episode, and the drawing for him was like that coming Tuesday, and so I was like, there's no names on the sheet. It's yeah. a minimum bid of one fifty, like. <clears throat> I see these things go oh, online like, all the time for 500 or a yeah, grand. Fi- yeah, exactly. And so I was like, whatever, let's, why not? Like 150, whatever, if it works, shot, it's yeah. going to help cancer research or whatever. Yeah. So the way these things all work is it's through like an auction company from Arkansas. So then they call me, you know, they run the card number and all that. I'm like, oh, it's going to be a couple weeks to ship and all this. You've got to pay shipping and processing, yeah, yeah. you know, whatever. And so... This is the end of January when I saw this thing. Before episode one of the podcast, and this thing just showed up. <laughs> and I got to say, it's <laughs> they had it there, but it's it's a little larger than I remember. And I, I thought it was, I literally thought it was like a sheet of paper, like just in a frame. This thing is the size of a second grader. I mean, this thing is massive. It's, it's pretty, look how nice that is, though. It's much larger than like the regular SI cover. Yeah. Oh, for sure. But it's got the 15-time major champion, um, 2021 Golf Hall of Fame inductee, 11-time player of the year. Um, right on the 18th green. I couldn't not get no. it for 150. <laughs> Dude, what a steal. And I'm now, it was a steal. And now I'm, I'm like even wondering, like, man, there was other stuff there. I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even look at the sheets because I was like, let's have a little self-control. But I had to get this for the, you know, just the... <laughs> The man cave, the little James yeah. Manor basement bar, but absolutely look at that. But it, yeah, I remember he sends sends me the photo of it, and I'm like, he goes, "Oh my god, I got here," and I was like, "Oh no way!" And then I showed up, and he's like, "Dude, you got to see this thing. This thing's huge." So well, before that, I remember texting you because I like, I didn't know. Remember, I I put my name and my phone number down. That was it on well, the Saturday, right? And well, it had been like, days, and right. then. You know, the auction ended, and I'm like, I don't know what to think. I don't have a number to call or anything. And then I got the call, or I got a text that was like, hey, we're going to call you at some point today. This is so-and-so from the, the auction. auction company. And I was like, 
oh my god did i win it like is this <laughs> and so i texted you like i might have something big for yeah the pod. <laughs> i thought i thought we had yeah i thought it was gonna be something way different but... and we again this is before any of the episodes had <laughs> no been yeah, yeah i thought and i remember you initially saying like okay we can just put it up in the background like it'll be something that'll be cool i'm like no that is the background because it's literally the size of a, a key of soul <laughs> i don't even know when i like you see these silent auctions all the time and it's like are these things real or do they just like take the money and this stuff like this is is this ever going to show up because right. again it's then was weeks and they had told me like oh you get an email confirmation from <clears throat> fedex once it ships mm-hmm. you know and it's going to be 14 business days before it ships and it's like we're, we're getting longer and longer it's getting past the date and i got no email and i'm like i don't i guess i mean if it shows up at some point like great right if not i'll handle it like next month or something right. and then i finally get a fedex email saying that it was delivered oh shit and that was just what was a thursday it was delivered and i was i didn't think it had even been shipped yet so <laughs> yeah. it showed up and it's it's here for for episode five with us yeah. today we love it yeah so you just see it some yeah he's tj's got a nice little uh bar down in his basement and it's got some cool stuff so that'll, that'll fit right in you yeah know, this little, little vibe got that cool basketball signed by Bayheim, McNamara, yep. Red Autry, Alan yep. Griffin. Yep. Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.